What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. Today I'm going to be using this Duskmane Necrozma team that I've been using for a while and it's a really fun team, I'm really excited to share it with you guys. But before we get into that, do me a favor, if you enjoyed this video at any point in time or just want to support the channel, leave a like and a comment down below. All of that helps me out immensely. My comment question of the day, of course, would be what Pokemon this format do you think is the best Trick Room setter? And let me know why. Honestly, I think Dustmane Necrozma is a pretty good thing going for it with Prism Armor and Mentalur being on it. But yeah, let me know. Uh, let's shoot for 200 likes and let's go ahead and get into the video. Also, subscribe. Why am I not telling you to subscribe? Like we're, we're on the way to uh, 22,000 subscribers, which is big. But yeah, let's go ahead and explain the team. So what I'm running here is a Duskmane Necrozma, obviously. Uh, it's got a Mental Herb, Prism Armor, Photon Geyser, Sunsteel Strike, Trick Room, Swords Dance, enough special defense where I can pretty easily tank at least one Water Spout from Modest Kyogre and one uh, Timid Max Special Attack, what's it called? Um, Astro Barrage from Calarx Shadow. So I can take at least one of those, uh, which is really nice. Obviously we're running Swords Dance here because I'm not a fan of the weakness policy set this series. I think that Swords Dance is actually really nice because a lot of people will try to stall out your Trick Room and if you can call Protect, one Swords Dance can just seal the game up for you. Next up we have Tapu Bulu, which might be a surprise for some of you guys to see, but I think it's actually really solid this format despite Rillaboom being an option. And that's because of the Assault Vest set. Does Rillaboom want to run an Assault Vest? Yes, but this thing is much more specially defensive, and it has access to better recovery options along with Snarl, which Rillaboom does have that, but this Snarl is much more powerful. Um, or I, don't, I actually don't know that. I think Rillaboom has bad special attack, but this is 85 special attack. Uh, but we got Wood Hammer, Horn Leech, Close Combat, Snarl, obviously. Uh, we're able to tank a plus two Timid Moonblast from Xerneas, uh, and we're also able to one-shot Kyogre with our grass moves, but... Uh, the main reason I went uh, Tapu Bulu on this team is because it is a Trick Room team. I do want to be slower. What With Tapu Bulu with minimum speed, you can actually guarantee that your terrain is the one that goes up at the end of the lead turn when you send out your Pokemon. Regardless of what Pokemon they go for, whether it's Ndidi or Tapu Lele, uh, or anything barring Picurchin, you will have terrain at the end of the turn. So yeah. Uh, also, it's a dedicated check to Urshifu Rapid Strike, which the Focus Sash set can be kind of annoying for Rillaboom, since if you have some chip damage on you, uh, they can survive the Grassy Glide with their Focus Sash and then KO you with close combat, where with Tapu Bulu, there is literally nothing they can do against it. We have a specially defensive Citrus Berry, Drizzle Politoed, Haze Protect, Scald Helping Hand, enough special defense for Xerneas. Uh, we have standard Kingdra, Timid Max Special Attack. We have standard Incineroar, Fake Out, Snarl, Parting Shot, Flare Blitz, Safety Goggles to make sure that we can actually <laughs> avoid getting uh, Rage Powdered or anything. And we have a Galarian Zapdos, Focus Sash, Defiant, Protect, Taunt, Brave Bird, Close Combat. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. I have actually had awful luck with trying to record Showdown Lives recently. It seems that every time I sit down and try to record a video, I just can't get a win. Where when I'm like sitting down playing a random tournament, I'm just like sweeping. So I'm gonna do my best to like pretend I'm not recording a video today. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like I can only play alone, which I guess that's just my curse. Anyways, here's one of our better matchups. Let's try not to mess it up. Uh, this is just going to be a pretty free Tapu Bulu lead. Uh, we typically go Tapu Bulu Necrozma here since there isn't much they can do. Taunt does not stop my Trick Room. Uh, Hurricane does not one shot my Bulu. We're pretty safe here. Uh, I always bring the Incineroar for the Ferrothorn in the back, and because under Trick Room, Snarl is very nice. And my last Pokemon, uh, I typically go Kingdra just in case I end up with an endgame where I'm outside of rain. Or when I'm in the rain but outside of Trick Room is what I'm meant to say. So I go Tornado Zarina. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll take it. I should be able to go into Incineroar here, and that should be a free Trick Room since they can't stop it. They, they're going to go for the Taunt for sure, uh, but they will not get it. Let's see if they brought the Incineroar. I think they need Incineroar in this matchup, but it is very scary for them to dedicate that Pokemon, or to dedicate bringing that Pokemon. Uh, there is a chance they could actually go for Triple Axel into um, Hurricane and try to get rid of my Bulu early, since Bulu's very scary for their Kyogre. Let's see if they U-turn. There's the Taunt. I kinda hope they Triple Axel. U-turn, okay, yeah, that's fine. As they go into their Kyogre, Fine by me, uh, I'm going to go ahead and Snarl up here, 
And I'm actually gonna Swords Dance because the fact that they didn't go into Incineroar is a big tell as to what the rest of their team is. Uh, I could actually Parting Shot technically. I can Parting Shot and get Mbulu in Swords Dance. And that'd be safer. Okay, get in the Bulu. Should easily take a hit from this thing now. They go for the Skull, no burn please. Hurricane, eh, what'd I tell you, what'd I tell you? Oh, we get confused though, that really sucks. That really sucks. Uh, let me try this. Hopefully I don't get... Hopefully I don't hit myself in confusion. That'd be a real bummer here. Actually, in this situation, I would always Sunsteel Strike, because if I Photon Geyser, they could switch an Incineroar. If they did actually bring it. They go Ferrothorn, that's fine. Zarina, that's fine. Come on. Okay, cool. Get a little bit of recovery there. And I think we're in a position where we just kind of sweep, to be honest. Like, Ferrothorn is no issue for this team. Granted, I keep my Incineroar healthy. So this next turn, I'd go into Incineroar and uh, focus down the Pokemon that comes in on this slot. As it's the Kyogre, these are typically Scarf Ogre. I can just go Incineroar and Photon Geyser now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk my friggin' <laughs> thing getting Gyroballed here. As they are not Scarf, that's fine. I still get a Photon Geyser, and I still actually just double into this thing. Uh, do I Flare Blitz? Nah, I just Parting Shot. I just Parting Shot Photon Geyser and that should do the trick. Like I said, if I can get rid of... Freaking... If I can get rid of everything except for Ferrothorn, I'm fine. I'm somewhat tempted to Snarl, to be honest. Just in case the, um... Yeah, yeah, I'll Snarl, I'll Snarl. Hopefully I don't miss, but that's just in case the, uh, Tornadus comes in. It makes it a lot easier. Yep. Nice. And that should be game. They have no way of beating me. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they can win anymore. Because, <laughs> uh, like I said, I still have this boy here. Let me go ahead and just get in the blue loo. I'll sack that. Or actually, I can get in Kingdra. That's that's going to be my sack here. Uh, and I always Sunsteel Strike into the Tornadus. Or it doesn't really matter. We'll go ahead and we'll Photon Geyser as I win. Nice. GG. GG to my opponent who has already left. Okay. I just have to be good at this game for another 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> or another uh, 15, 20 minutes, whatever that is. This is actually a really scary team. Uh, we see double genie, which is kind of problematic for Necrozma. I would assume that they would just lead off with the Thunderous here. Um, I should be able to go Necrozma and Cineroar on lead and just fake out the Landorus if I really need to. Uh, and in this situation, I actually feel comfortable going Kingdra Politoed as uh, just like a rain mode in the back to make sure I don't lose to Lando. As they do go Thundy, obviously Trick Room Fake Out is going to be my best play here. Uh, and then what I can do is just uh, target this thing with a Photon Geyser and hopefully that and the Flare Blitz will be enough. There's the Taunt, they're not able to stop it. Let's go ahead and drop a... actually Sunsteel Strike is smarter. Sunsteel Strike is smarter and I can actually... Do I Parting Shot here? I'm concerned it won't be enough, but I should always live the hit regardless if they do decide to try to KO my Necrozma, like I should be fine. I guess the worst outcome would be like side scary face. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in my Politoed here. There's no way they didn't bring the Incineroar, right? Yeah, they had to have brought Incineroar. They're taking the second, they're scared. They're like, do I do it? Do I go for it? Little did they know, I live that. I definitely live it, unless they're modest. Running out of time, bro. Running out of time. Nope. Too late. <laughs> I get the crit too. Okay. Uh, let me get in Polly. Yeah, they just forfeit. They took too long. They took too long. We'll call that a win. Maybe, maybe they did lock in their move, but they just made a bad choice. Ooh, okay. This is actually a really fun lead for this team. Because what you do is you always go Necrozma Zapdos versus these teams. Because what they do is they're like, ah, I know what I'll do. I'll lead off with two fire types and that'll really stuff the Necrozma. And then they're like, oh wait, hold on. I just lost to Zapdos. Uh, and then in the back you bring the, the Poly, or the, what did I, why can't I speak? The Tapu Bulu for this guy. Uh, and honestly, Incineroar is fine. Incineroar is fine. It does leave us kind of open to losing the Hiligo if we're not careful. Uh, since the Hiligo can easily one-shot my boy. Uh, but I think, um, 
Kind of feeling Politoed to be honest. I'll go in center. I'll go in center. I just be careful with Nihiligo. Oh, look! Look what happened! Look what happened! What happened? You lost. You lose, sir! Good day, sir! <laughs> give me my Trick Room. Uh, and give me your Incineroar, because you have to choose. You literally have to choose. What's it gonna be, Spider-Man? The woman you love, or the city you care for? <laughs> give me my Trick Room, dude. <laughs> give me my friggin' Trick Room. Okay, yeah, let me get in the Incineroar now. Uh, that's gonna be a Swords Dance from me, and a Fake Out into you. There's the Volk. There's the Swords Dance. Um, not sure if I'm slower. Should always be able to parting shot this Volcarona. And Photon Geyser. Goodbye, that's not a contact move. <laughs> Goodbye. And now I'm just at neutral. Obviously they can, you know, cycle in and out whatever they want here. Uh, and the crossbow's gonna have a tough time getting it going, but should be fine. Especially since I parting shot it here. Get in my Bulu. And yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. This is just a matter of getting rid of the Incineroar at this point. There's their Incineroar. Uh, they should always like go for this thing. I'm going to go into my Incineroar. And I'm willing to drop a close combat here. Just for the damage. Drop that combat. Flare Blitz. Nice. Knock off. Nice. Ooh, I lose my goggles. Ooh, my goggles. Ooh, my goggles. Okay. Uh, let me parting shot this Incineroar. And... I can just combat again. It will KO. Like, it's it's definitely gonna KO, and I can still parting shot, yeah. It goes Xerneas. I, I don't care. I parting shotted. Get into Necrozma. As the U-turn. There's the Incineroar, and, um... Hmm. Let me think. Did I just get pinned? No, I did not. I did not. Cause what I do is I sword Dance here. Get in my Incineroar. That's fine. Because I still parting shot this Ernius and I live the hit. And Incineroar doesn't KO me. So I'm actually going to Sunsteal Strike. Or I can Trick Room. I can Trick Room. Parting shot. That doesn't KO me. So they parting shot me. Still got off my Trick Room though. And now I go for my Sword Dance. I'm actually going to close combat the Xerneas. Getting the Incineroar on the switch in. I guarantee you, I guarantee you the Xerneas is getting out of here. You don't do anything here, Xerneas. Go home. Go. Oh, he didn't. Okay, that's fine. It's not going to KO my Bulu. There's no way. Yeah. Okay. Now, I Swords Dance again. <laughs> and I get the Incineroar on the switch in as the Incineroar comes in on that slot. Okay. Now. <laughs> Now I got him. Now I got him. Because I Sunsteal Strike. I'm actually very concerned about this endgame now. Um, no, I Sunsteal Strike here. And I'm still going to close combat here. Because I need that Incineroar gone for this endgame to be easy. There we go. Uh, I should just win now. Is he Geomancied again? Very, very ballsy play there, sir. Very ballsy play. However, I do have Snarl, which he is not aware of, which should make this a lot easier. Let me go ahead and Sunseal Strike and Snarl. He's going to have to fake out the Necrozma. And we connect on the Xerneas, which means he can't win. Yeah. Yeah, he tried. Uh, let me go ahead and Sunseal Strike you. Get in the Incineroar here. Just need to live this hit. 
Oh, he crit me. You're kidding. You're kidding. Really? That's how it's... Oh, I'm so upset, dude. That's how it's gonna happen? Alright, uh, maybe he doesn't have protect? Yeah, he's got protect. That sucks. Oh, man. That was so free. That was so free, dude. Yeah, it, like, it doesn't matter anymore, but, like, dang, that sucks. Alright, GG. You're kidding me. Like, that was literally the only way you won is critting that particular move. Because knockoff at minus one, I don't even think that would have KO'd. It does so little to Necrozma if it's not stabbed. Alright, let's try this again. Ice Rider Calyrex. Um, I should be able to lead off with... I have to be careful here because these things tend to run... Um, these things tend to run foul play. Actually, I can do this. I'm gonna go Politoed Kingdra, the Krozma. And in the back, I have to go Incineroar for sure. I'm not gonna bother getting rid of the Psychic Train, but dang, that was so annoying. Ah, man. Okay. I gotta get over it or I'm gonna lose this one. <laughs> yeah, honestly, um, the thing that makes Calyrex Ice difficult for this team isn't even Calyrex Ice itself, it's mainly the Orangru, so I'm mostly focused on getting rid of that. Go stack attack and DD. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. I'm just helping hand this. Let me see if they brought the uh, the Torkoal because I feel like they have to. Yeah, there it is. I'm still gonna get good damage off though. Yeah, that was really good damage. Accuracy drop. Awesome. Awesome. I'll take it. Uh, and what I can do here is they should typically rock slide. I'm going to go ahead and if I go Incineroar, can I Draco Meteor this Torkoal and make my life easier? I think I go Incineroar here and protect. Because I'm going to get this Intimidate now. So the Heat Wave, nice. And I should be able to go Politoed. Parting shot the Calyrex. Earth power doesn't KO. Close combat. That's fine, I think. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, with the rain up, this isn't too bad. Kind of wish I got an Intimidate off, though. Going to Karazma. Um, I should be able to get rid of this Calyrex right here, to be honest. I don't see them taking this. And they have very little switching since stack attack is at 43%, and they have two turns of Trick Room, so I'll Scald here. The, no double should be able to KO me from this range. They might think that they can, but there, there's no double. Yeah, and then I take that. Now I have Rain up for the rest of the game, and I still have my Kingdra. There's the Cali Ice. Um, it's probably policy, to be honest. This is really scary. I kind of want to Swords Dance and go Kingdra. This is really dumb. I'm going to say it outright. This is really dumb, but if it works out. Oh yeah, that worked out. That worked out, because my uh, my Muddy Water breaks the sub, and then I just KO. That worked out for me. I just have to not miss. You think they have Wide Guard? kind of scared of the Wide Guard. <laughs> they don't Wide Guard. Yeah, I win. Boom. Got him. 
And yeah, there's just Nandini. Yeah, good game. Nice. Oh man, that, that felt good. That making making such a hard read right there at the at the end of the game just made me feel a lot better about the previous one. But yeah, no, this is this is a super fun team. This is a super, super fun team. Um, I think here, ooh. Whenever I see a Moltres, I get a little nervous. Because Moltres actually is really, really problematic for my team. I can lead off. I can lead off Incinerar. I think I pretty much always lead off Incinerar, to be honest. And... <laughs> I mean, they have to bring this freaking Lando. They, you know they're bringing the Lando. I'm going to go uh, Zapdos, Incineroar, Necrozma. And I kind of feel like going Politoed. I think Politoed's fine, but Bulu's also kind of helpful here. Let me think. All right, so if I go Incineroar... Zapdos, I cover quite a few leads. Necrozma in the back. Necrozma I'm just bringing as a formality, to be honest. <laughs> uh, and I think... It's it's in my last Pokemon that I'm kind of concerned about. I'll lock in Bulu. I'll just lock in Bulu. I'm not going to overthink it. I have two resists to Behemoth Blade. It's mainly just... I'm, I'm scared about getting Behemoth Bladed. Uh, this Bulu is actually EV'd. In particular, to take a Sludge Bomb from non dynam or not Dynamax, uh, from Landorus Therian specifically. Which sounds weird, but believe me, it's very useful. I'm assuming they're just going to substitute here, to be honest. I'm going to Parting Shot and Protect. Or, maybe at Close Combat... I kind of have to Protect. Because if they fake out me, I lose my Sash, which is really bad. Imparting shots free. Unless they help in hand to close combat. They fake out me. Dang. Sacred Sword? Alright. Um, yeah, I need this damage now. Unfortunately, they have my Incineroar pinned. I should always be able to get off a Trick Room, or I can call them calling my Trick Room. Behemoth Blade. Ooh, interesting. They let me keep my Incineroar. That is very interesting. Because now I get in my Necrozma. And honestly, I'm just fine getting back in the Incineroar. Get off my Trick Room. One would assume that they would be... I would assume they would get out of here with their Zacian and get in the Lando. I'm actually not going to fake out for that reason. And I'm just going to Parting Shot. Might be too hard of a read, but I think that's the play. I think they want to get in Lando. And being able to take hits from Lando a lot better is really nice. Araquanid? They stay in. Oof, okay. Not the end of the world, because Araquanid does not take a Wood Hammer. And I have to Swords Dance. I hate that I have to Swords Dance right here, but I should take a Behemoth Blade from this range. Does a Rackman take a Wood Hammer? Probably not. Maybe Horn Leech is safer. Stay protect. Swords Dance up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I ate that Behemoth Blade like it was literally nothing. So I'm going to Sunsteel Strike and I'm going to Horn Leech. And I, ha I still have a lot of turns of Trick Room. And they have no steel resists, so Gothitelle is pretty much gone. Lunge? Ooh, okay. Get a bit of my health back. Lunge actually did a lot more than I was comfortable with. There's a chance I live this. Um, I'm more concerned with getting rid of you, to be honest. I'm going to Photon Geyser that Arachnid. And I'm going to Horn Leech it again. Pretty sure I get faked out regardless. I live. That's awesome. That's awesome. Matter of fact, because I live, I'm going to Swords Dance again. Because that does make it so it's very difficult for them to win. Um, And I'm just going to Wood Hammer now. Because they probably just lunge. It doesn't matter. But if I can get rid of this Arachnid this turn, that's huge. Okay. 
See, so, that did so much. I lose now. <laughs> I lose now. Yeah. Oh, that did so much. I always forget with how bulky Necrozma is. It's like, it's only against super effective moves that you're surprisingly bulky. Nothing else, pretty much. Yeah, I lose that. All right, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Ooh, okay, Sun. Um, hmm. I would say Sun teams pretty much always bring the cross, or they always bring the Incineroar versus me. And I can always lead off with my own Incineroar because I am safety goggles. Typically I do Incineroar, Kingdra, Politoed, and Necrozma, and that's probably fine. Uh, Tapu Bulu is also never really that bad versus this team because it does make the Tapu Finny matchup a little bit easier, but if I get like one Sword Stance off, Finny's pretty much free, so I'm gonna do that. All right, nice. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll just Parting Shot into the Finny and get in my Necrozma. See, Nature's Madness me. Ooh, that's actually really annoying. I think I lose. <laughs> I think I lost already. Hmm. I can try to Swords Dance off and maybe predict them predicting a Trick Room. As they foul play. Okay. Yeah, foul play. I think I just lose. That. Uh, yeah, I don't see that one coming back. Let's do one more. <laughs> I don't see that one. Uh, I don't see myself getting back from that one. I think the interesting thing about Series 10 is how many Pokemon tech foul play onto things. Because I had to play quite a few games before I figured out that foul play or Ranguru was normal. All right, this is just another rain team. Hmm. I mean, like, same as always. Just trying to make sure there wasn't anything too crazy about that. Uh, but I think despite them having an Aegislash, Slash, it's pretty much the same matchup. I just have to be a little bit more cautious about it since I do have uh, the Necrozma Dust Main. And that's actually another tool they can use against me, but shouldn't make too big of a difference with Incineroar on my team. Especially if they're running physical, which they would need to run physical to beat Incineroar with that thing. Let's see. <sighs> yeah, I think they're just going to go... Torn Ogre lead again, to be honest. Like, I don't see much of a reason not to. Oh, Regieleki, Torn, that's still fine. That's still pretty much fine. Uh, I still get off my Trick Room. Because they should just... I would assume they just Fold Switch or something. Definitely have Kyogre in the back. It's a matter of if, if it's Incineroar or Aegislash, really. That's, that's what the question is. Do they have Incineroar or do they have Aegislash? Volt Switch, yep. Probably Hurricane, too. So they go Ogre. And the Hurricane. No confusion. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to Parting Shot you and I'm going to Swords Dance up. Because like I said, like I, I eat this hit so well. It is the Age of Slash. Hmm. No burn. Awesome. Um. Do I get out sped? That's the question. I think I can tank one hit from the Age of Slash regardless of what set it is. So I'm just going to Photon Geyser and Snarl. Is a swords dance. Okay, that's fine. I 
I think my play here is going to be to... Which went first? Sword Sands went first. So they should... I think I can KO this thing with a wood hammer if I do this. Because they don't stay in with their Kyogre, I would assume. Yep. Okay, they are playing very scarily. <laughs> I am very scared of them now. Uh, let me Snarl, or let me Parting Shot the Aegislash and get in the Kingdra. I'm gonna Snarl, yeah. Maybe I just double it. They're gonna go for a Steel move, aren't they? I'm just gonna Snarl. No, that's not my play. All right, let's do this. The King Shield, nice. That bypasses it, which is great. Get in the King draw. Hurricane me. Ooh, I got confused. Okay. Hmm. That's not what I meant to do. Photon guys are getting the Incineroar. I need them to attack this turn. So it turns out they're slower than me. Jaro Ball? That's fine. Uh, let me do this. They should King Shield here. <sighs> they didn't King Shield, dang it. All right. I think now they would King Shield, to be honest. So I'm gonna Parting Shot again, and I'm gonna get rid of this Tornadus. Cause they, they should be predicting me to target it. With both of my Pokemon, pretty much. Yeah, there it is. So Tornado should be gone. Yep. Get off the Parting Shot. Get in the Kingdra. And I think here... They should be faster than me now, so they should be going for like a Shadow Claw. What if they have close combat? What if they actually can't hit the Necrozma? And I'm just being paranoid. There's no way you don't run a Ghost move, right? Because otherwise you lit I think maybe they don't run a Ghost move. I'm trying to think of what they would hit beyond Necrozma. What if they have close combat? I'm gonna I'm gonna make the risk. They have Shadow Sneak, that's their ghost move. That's fine. Cause I, I just eat those. Yeah, that's that's literally fine. Here I think they would actually attack now. There's only two turns of trick room, so I kinda have to do this. Uh Snarl is funny enough perfectly fine to click here. I you think Photon guys are into you. I think I just double it, to be honest. Ah, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Um, They should just Shadow Sneak me. I'm going to go back into my Bulu. Actually, I'm going to make a double switch. I think Kingdra Bulu is fine. Because they should Scald. Shadow Sneak that does KO me. I figured it would... Ooh, that was kind of annoying. Um, Dang, this is actually really scary, dude. This is really scary. I don't want to play anymore. Okay. Getting you. Parting Shot you this turn. Because they're going to protect and they're going to King Shield. That's in their best interest. Or maybe I just attack, man. I mean, I lose if I don't attack. They protected that first. 
Okay, okay, I think I win. Yeah, okay. Bulu gets recovery. Regieleki never beats Bulu. But Aegislash could technically beat me. I'm gonna go into Krasma here and I'm gonna Horn Leech this. That should give me all my health back, but whew, this is getting close. Thunder, that's fine. I don't mind losing that. I'm also an extremely slow Bulu, so I should tank this. Yeah. Another one of these. Focus Sash. I'm going to assume that they're going to protect here. It's in their best interest. Yeah, they double protected. Um, geez, this is really scary. That KOs. I think I lose. Let me snarl. If they get greedy and shadow sneak, I have a chance. Nope. Yeah, that's game. Dang, man. GG. I mean, we didn't do too well today. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. Because I, I know this is a good team. I've played like my buddies before. I've taken sets off of them, so... I'm still going to upload this video, obviously, even though I didn't do as good as I wanted to. I think I still got some good battles. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about the team in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.